Okay, so as she said, my name is Austin Miller. And when I asked for a prompt here, Mr. Rosenblum told me that I was going to be talking about the obstacles in my education and how I overcame them. But my obstacles in education are a little bit different than those before me. I am not autistic, and I'm not from a poverty situation. I do not have a learning disability, but I am in fact a special needs child. As a gifted child, I am considered special needs. For example, but I am a successful gifted child. For example, I recently made the all-state academic team for cross country, and I can credit the success to the district that we have here and the programs we have in place, like the GATE program. The GATE program is fantastic, but it was not always as big as it is today. When I first started in first grade, it took two years to get tested for GT, and even then not everyone was screened. So I was on my own, but that was fine. I was a regular child, I enjoyed skinning my knee, playing with my family, and just all around laughing. But when I began first grade, I realized that in the, program, in the regular school that I was in, I was not challenged enough. So halfway through the year, I moved to Roland Melton and stayed there for the next year and a half. I received the challenging material that I always needed, but I was tested at the end of second grade and qualified for GATE. So for third grade, I moved back to Diedrichsen Elementary and attended the GT pullout program. It was finally an opportunity for me to attend the, the classroom that I needed to with peers such as myself, but it was only one day a week, every Friday, all day. It was the best thing ever, but for the other four days, I sat in the normal classroom, bored out of my mind, waiting for something else to happen. That was why for the next year, I attended Whitehead Elementary School and was part of the SWAS program, five days a week of gifted classroom and education. It was a, such a great experience, and I'm so thankful for it. And I would stay in the SWAS program until the end of my elementary school until I moved to the Mendive Magnet program in seventh grade. At the Mendive Magnet program, it was relatively more of the same, but that was fine by me as well. I enjoyed my time and continued on. But then I reached my biggest obstacle. This obstacle was when I went to high school. For the first time, my learning was limited. I was continu continuously told that I had to stay in classrooms where I did not belong. I was told that I had to follow this normal track of students and that some things would not fit with me. You see, my limitations on education were not put on me by myself or my family or my social situation, but by my high school. And the main reason was because my high school did not understand the difference between a high achieving and a gifted learner. That's a common misconception. A high achieving learner does well in school, and so does most gifted learners. But a high achieving learner is one who excels in the AP program and the honors program, and the gifted program can excel beyond that. The gifted learner is one who enjoys complexity. No matter how you teach them, they'll absorb something. Whereas the regular learner prefers sequential presentation of information. The high achieving learner will absorb the information that you teach them. They're great at memorizing. Whereas the gifted learner will actually learn and understand. But the most important reason, the gifted learner needs one to two repetitions to master a subject. This high achieving learner can need six to eight, three to four times the amount that a gifted learner needs. This, that's not even the standard student. The standard student between 12 to 16 repetitions and a struggling student, the one that our district really wants to get to graduation, 20 to 30, 10 times the amount that we need. We are slowing down the course of my education by 10 times but that is such a real situation that we can fix. And thankfully, at first, my high school was not ready for that. And that's okay. It's a scary subject, and I understand that. They suggested that I go to either Stanford EPGY or to the Davidson Academy, but that was not what I wished. I still wanted to run cross country. I wanted to participate in clubs. I wanted to go to football games. I enjoyed cheering on my team towards victory, and I also loved hanging out with, them, with my friends in between classes. Thankfully, they put me in the classes that I needed to. Reed High School is such a great school, and I really appreciate going there. It has been the best experience of my life so far, and I've had many great experiences. They've allowed me to take the classes I need. I skipped honors chem and went straight to AP. And set, in my sophomore year, I took AP Calculus and AP Physics, something that is not usually done. And now they've allowed me to take nine classes, one of them at this school, TMCC, and another one I intern at the fire department going on calls. 
They've also allowed me to run cross country, try out for basketball, and run track. I am so thankful that they have met my needs and surpassed my expectations. I am also thankful that they took the limits off of my learning and that now they will be forever a positive part of my education and life. But I'm not only thankful to Reed High School for that, I'm thankful for this entire district. We have implemented this entire system that has worked and it's worked tirelessly. And we have finally implemented a program where it's a normal high school experience for gifted kids at the Gate Institution at Pelk. And I'm so thankful for all of that. Thank you for all that you have done for me in this district. My name is Austin Miller.